sweet potato, a very versatile, highly nutritious uh, root crop. I try always to have a bed of it growing in the garden. It's considered a superfood. It's high in vitamins, minerals, dietary fiber, and the good carbohydrates. Plus, it's easy to grow, even though it takes a little longer than the other vegetables. We include it in our crop rotation. And in this video, I'll take you through the stages of planting, growing, and harvesting this wonderful crop. So this is a sweet potato slip. It has, it's a stem from an existing, from another field. The sweet potato slip is between 10, usually between 10 and 15 inches long with several nodes. This one has eight nodes. Roots will be produced at the nodes and this is also where the potatoes would form. So we have to bury the first four or five nodes and that is done usually, we bury it about four to six inches deep. As I say, I've done the others, so just as a demonstration, this mound, potatoes are usually planted in mound because the emerging potatoes need a very soft substrate to grow. So make a hole, six inches, insert the slip, buried. So as I said, we expect the potatoes to form in this area, in the mound. Notice that the slips are in water. It is rather hot. As so the slips usually come to the field, they're wilted because they've been removed from their mother plants. You rehydrate them by putting them in water. Sweet potato is one of those easy crops to grow. Very few pests. And if we're lucky, all we have to apply is some extra nutrients. And as usual, our motto here is use compost tea whenever you have it and whenever you can. The sweet potato bed planted seven weeks ago. This is your first update. And as you can see, it's spreading nicely. We keep a close eye. You see, there are some leaves with holes in them. As I move, the camera may not see it, but I see one or two white flies popping up, which would suggest the early stages of a potential problem here, if you can focus on that. Right, that's the early stages of the white flies taking a hold. So I'm gonna have to apply treatments against this, and I'm going to Start off with neem, bioneem, in a day or two to make sure that we, this doesn't take over. The holes in the leaves I'm really not worried about, but yeah, white flies we don't need. Also see, at seven weeks we're getting our first set of flowers. So it's progressing nicely. The leaf color is good. I have not had to apply any compost tea. Uh, we will keep an eye, we're expecting this to be a four to five month crop. So we're in the early stages so far. This is a very lush sweet potato bed. We did not apply any additional fertilizer. It was planted in compost and this is what the compost has done. Now, this is three, week, three months of growth. We, it's very lush. It should be producing tubers by now. We are anticipating that in another month or approximately another month, I'll start searching for sweet potatoes hopefully they are busy getting large and numerous under the soil what i do from time to time is come and just shake the foliage and see if anything flies up and i'm seeing uh, very few white flies and other flying insects but at this stage other than trying to well, minimizing any pest build up for the other crops there's nothing left to do in this sweet potato bed but for good measure, and because I want to plant some other things, I think I'll come through with one last application of the neem oil, which had kept the white flies that we had discovered earlier in the crop, that had kept it on the bee. 
So it's an optional um, application now, and not really needed per se, but I don't want the white fly population to build up. So I may just do that. So the next time you see me, I will be standing in this bed, but hopefully I'll have sweet potatoes in my hand. I have promised you next time you saw me, I would have two potatoes in my hand. And here they are. Very good size. I'm actually surprised at the size of these two. And these are just the first two my hands touched this morning. We did a sample reaping three, four weeks ago when we reaped a small, this patch that I'm standing over and got about three pounds. They were not mature, sufficiently mature. So we allowed the bed to go to the entire extent of the growing period, 150 days, which is about five months. It's, um, and uh, we're going to be reaping today and we're hoping to get equivalent yield to these two that you see, equivalent sizes to the two you see me um, holding this morning. So hold on, I'm going to do that off camera and share with you what we got from this, these two beds of sweet potato. To wrap, the five months of growing this crop, relatively easy crop to grow. We, we made three different applications of neem and um, BT. We alternated them for that control. This is the tubers from the final harvest, rather large tubers, much larger than the, those that we got at the first reaping a month ago. But in total, adding the first reaping and this, we're quite pleased with the, with the result. As I say, nothing beats um, garden fresh for quality and taste. And I recommend strongly that you, if you have the space, you go sweet potatoes. But the main development, the main aspect that I want to report on is the very lush foliage which you would have seen. And that is due to the excess rainfall we experience during most of this crop. We, we do monitor our rainfall here. And during the five months, we totaled 710 millimeters of rain. Compare that to the recommended 250 to 500 millimeters. That really is too much rainfall for sweet potato. But we're happy that we got what we got, and we certainly will be continuing uh, with another bed of sweet potato. But we hope you found this video interesting and we would be encouraged to grow your own sweet potato. As I say, highly nutritious crop, easy to grow once you have this space. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And this information on crop production is featured in our books, Crop Production and Harvesting. So please check it out.